Hey everyone, it's Jerry Gonzalez here. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you like this video in any way. Also, don't forget to comment on this video. It's most appreciated. I love reading comments. All right, so this video is going to be about two things. First off, it's going to be about removing the recycle bin from your desktop if you're a Windows user and also adding it to your taskbar. Well, it's really adding it to your taskbar and then I show you how to hide it from your desktop because it's not really needed if it's on your taskbar, you know. So that's pretty cool and it also comes with a bunch of themes that you can choose. And so it looks really nice and it gives your desktop a nice clean look. The second thing I want to show you is actually a Facebook thing, okay? It's actually really cool. Uh, this template that I found online, um, you just download it and open it with Photoshop, drop in your images, and boom, it crops all the stuff and it's all good to go. So what you can actually do is create a nice Facebook theme, like the, the cover image will flow with your avatar image. And it just looks really nice and I want to show you guys this. So let's go ahead and jump into the desktop and uh, start this video. Okay folks, so now we're here on my desktop. Let's go and just dive in. Let's open up Chrome and I will have this link in the description. It's esushi.net slash minibin, e-sushi.net slash minibin. Uh, just go ahead into the description and just click it. It'll be really quick. You don't have to worry about typing anything. And we're gonna go ahead and download right here, minibin 3.5.0.0, like that. All right, and it's just like that, really quick download. We're going to actually right click this zip file and extract here, or you can double click it and uh, drag it onto your desktop, doesn't matter. There, we're just going to double click Minibin, hit OK, hit Next, I agree, and install. And just like that, Minibin is installed. Let's go ahead and, and click Finish and run Minibin. Just like that, it's right here. Uh, you also get a bunch of themes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go to Configuration, and we'll empty on double click. Currently, if we double click it, it's going to open up the recycle bin. And so if I right click it, go to configuration, empty on double click, uh, and let's say I want to delete some files, delete, yes, I'll go ahead and delete all these as well. Okay, you'll see that now the icon has some trash in there, it looks really cool. And as the icon fills up, if I go to theme, open themes directory, uh, you can see, well, let's, let's look at a theme for instance, okay, uh, open thro thron, okay, I guess that's what it's called. When it's empty, it looks like that. When it's 25% full, it looks like that, 50%, 75 and then when it's full, it looks like that. Okay, that's just an example of what a theme will look like. Um, so it's pretty cool. And if I double-click this now, do you really want to remove all the trash? Yes. And now it's empty. So it looks really cool like that. We can actually delete these two things. Now let's say, all right, you have this mini um, thing going on. Okay, you have this mini trash can going on. Now what can you do to this recycle bin? Well, what you can do is right click and go to personalized, personalize, go to change desktop icons and remove that recycle bin and hit apply and okay. And there we go. Now the recycle bin is gone and we're good to rock. Now we'll, all we have is that mini bin down here and it works really great. If when you right click and personalize isn't there, what you can do is click the start button, go to control panel and then appearance and personalization uh, next we're gonna go over to personalization and then it's right here change desktop icons and uh, it's all there just like that so there you go now you have your mini bin up and rocking the only thing you want to know here is that if you are using C cleaner which is an awesome program to you know completely wipe out your trash can and kind of do like a uh, system cleanup at that time every time you empty your recycling bin it won't be enabled when you're using mini bin so that's the only downfall but if you're not using something like C cleaner then you're good to rock and it looks really nice and there's a bunch of themes to go along with it so so there you go Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is actually how to make your cover image right here on your Facebook account and your avatar image, your profile picture, I guess it's called, uh, look like they're going together and it makes one awesome image. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize uh, the internet. And I'm just going to open up Photoshop with this uh, template. Actually, here's all the credit. Credit does not go to me at all. Uh, it goes to these people over here. AUSGetRock.net. Okay, that's who basically made this. The author is this guy, Nico which is awesome. Okay, and uh, whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. All we need to do is open up their Photoshop project file. Okay, and it brings up this awesome layout that they set up for us. And then what we're also going to do is double click this action file, okay? So double click that, and it probably won't show us anything happening, but trust me, it happened. What we can actually do is go to Window, Actions, scroll all the way down. See, I, I have another one added because I just uh, did that. I'll delete this one. You should have like a Facebook folder going on there. All right. 
So trust me, all it does all the work for you. You don't really have to do anything besides add in the images and uh, show how you want them to show up. Let me give an example here. All I'm going to do is grab my this picture I took a while ago called grass, drop it in to the uh, Photoshop project file, and I'm just going to arrange this. And it, if you can see what it's doing, is it? It's actually giving me a live preview of what my profile will look like. Okay, so here's the cover image. I'm gonna click the check mark. I like it right there, sure. Here's the cover image and here's a profile picture. Let's say, I mean, you could save it like that or what you can actually do is drag in another picture. Here's of me, okay. I can actually make it, you know, pop out a bit like that and make it look all crazy and stuff. Or what I could just do is, you know, zoom in, rearrange this, you know, do just a little bit of editing here, just, you know, resizing. That's all you really need to do here. And then I click the check mark. There we go, that's what my profile will look like. And you can see that the grass fades into my avatar image, which is awesome. Okay, so now that you're all ready to go, all we need to do is go to Window, Actions, see this Create Facebook Timeline Pictures? Make sure this folder is, uh, you break that folder down. Highlight this one, click Start. And here we go, it's gonna do everything for you. See JPEG, just click Save. Hit this one right here. Save, I'm gonna name this uh, Thumbnail save and then it's also going to open up the cover image right here so I'm going to save this as cover and save that and that's it we're all done if you can see right here it made my thumbnail and my cover image just like that it looks really awesome so all we need to do is go into Facebook change the cover image upload a photo which is the cover photo just like that and I'm going to save these changes next I'm going to go to edit profile picture and upload a photo and choose the thumbnail picture that I chose that uh, we made and just like that you see how it looks right there it just flows it goes with the picture and it looks really nice so that right there is a cool Facebook tweak that you can check out um, and to do this again download the PSD file which I'll link to in the description below so go ahead and click that all right, folks, that's all I wanted to show you today. You know, it's just that mini bin, awesome tweak for the desktop on Windows, and also that Facebook uh, timeline cover image slash profile picture tweak that was really awesome, really made easy. You know, you can use this, you know, save this PSD file because you can use this over and over. You can show your friends and be like, hey, you know, check this out. It's really awesome. You know, just use it over and over. And uh, whenever you feel like changing your profile, you can have a nice high quality thing going on there. It look nice and professional. So again, remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe to this channel and video. Uh, there you go. Well, well, thumb up the video, subscribe to my channel, and then also comment on the video, whatever. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye.